previously on Dune Imperium War Chest. Let me play the beast. I may have cost myself the game third place. Yeah, I definitely blew it. I can sell Melange and still pick up this Chome Directorship. First place finish in game number two. Count Ilban Riches comes through. I'm gonna try Memnon. Oh my God, Chome Directorship. That's three games in a row. It's honestly gonna be tempting to early reveal for the Chome Directorship. And I have to hope nobody else decides to early reveal. Oh, Ilban does. So much for that dream. I am gonna take the Liet Kynes and I guess I'll take the Firm Grip. This game is looking at heavy spice must flow strategy. Well, it's probably another spice must flow turn for me and uh, spice must flow. The spice is flowing, baby. The spice is flowing all over the place. Is there a chance that I can actually buy two spice must flows this turn? Playing water of life. 17. <laughs> I'm buying two spice must flows. Nobody can stop me. That felt good. Ooh, I can feel the, the spice. I can see flashes of the future where it says victory. Ooh, wee. The spice, as it must, flew. All right, it's game four of War Chest coming at you. This is the special event running this weekend as I'm recording this. The sort of tournament in Dune Imperium Digital. If you haven't seen the previous three games, go ahead and watch those first. It's a six game run. This is currently game four that's about to start. The first few games have gone pretty well. Game one, third place. Game two, first place. Game three, first place. So let's hope I can keep that streak, that first, uh, first place streak going. Just a reminder, uh, there's a special rule here. The event has a special bonus rule, War Chest. At the end of each round, the players with the most Solari will recruit a troop to their garrison. I haven't made a massive amount of use of that so far. I've gotten a troop here or there, but I haven't um, I haven't really like tried too hard to get that every round or anything. Um, with that said, let's click play and uh, see if we can get into a game. All right, we are into a game. It took uh, about five minutes again, I would say. <clears throat> All right, looks like I'm going to be the third player, so I'm going to be the second one to choose. Let's take a quick look at the Imperium row here. Liet Kynes, that was key to my last game. Test of Humanity, Bene Gesserit Sister, Assassination Mission, and Scout. You know... I like the way Memnon worked out for me last time. Maybe I'll just try him again. I'm just going to do it. This is a little different from my normal philosophy, right? Which is always based on like mixing it up, picking a new leader every time, um, trying not to pick the same ones back to back and so on. But this is a competitive mode. And so the number one goal is win. And I like I liked the way Memnon felt last time. And so I'm just kind of in the Memnon groove. Um, we'll see if I can make that same turn one play of getting, you know, selling Melange really fast. I'm going to give it a shot. Come on, Signet Ring. No signet ring, so that plan unfortunately will not work. Um, all right, well, there you go. I do have diplomacy. But um, a hardy warriors, I'm sure, is not going to be available. Theoretically... Theoretically, I could still do Haga Basin knowing I'm going to get one spice for my Signet Ring next round. It just uh, it just creates an extra step. B 
because I can't send the signet ring to sell Melange and sell the spice I get out of the signet ring. Otherwise, that would be great. Um, that's not an option. So... I guess we'll get some Solari out of wealth here. And, um... It's gonna be hard for me to sell Melange next turn because the beast is gonna go before me. <clears throat> It's a little rough because the signet ring is the only yellow access I'm going to have next turn. Um, going to Haga Basin, it would let me put in some troops and I could fight for, I could fight for this. I could try to get first, even theoretically. Although Leto still has a chance to put in more. Okay, forget first. Um, I could try to get second, but even third is not bad. Two Solari would not would not go amiss here. The other option would be, well, no, I can't even go to Hall of Oratory to try to get up to Liet Kynes. I think Mentat would be a kind of insane play. Wait a minute, he didn't actually go here. I'm just gonna go for the value one here and uh, go for that Solari. I could have put in two and maybe gotten second with the dagger to boost up my strength, but Leto still has an opportunity to put in more troops also, so. I think I'm okay with just the one. Okay, he's not going for it. Maybe it would have been worth throwing the other one in to force him to try for it. Whatever, I'm fine with it. Troops are such an interesting resource, you know? Every troop can matter. Cheney. Okay, well, that was the card I would have liked to have picked up. Uh, assassination mission could be interesting. <laughs> Look at them both sitting there. Combine these two combined could be kind of cool.
I'm going to do it that way. It's just sort of a neat way that the cards lined up. And, um, you know, that guild, is it guild administrator? Yeah. Um, getting some early, tr like, the earlier the better when it comes to cards that trash. Okay, he had daggers too. Um, and then getting the card that wants to be trashed at the same time just felt like, it felt like fate, you know? Okay, I may want that Smuggler's Thopter, given that I did pick up that Guild Administrator when the time comes. Oh. Okay. Look at that. Bang. So I'm guessing he's going to be going for the Freeman Alliance. He set himself up to get a bunch of spice here. He's going back to still suits. What is up with this? He wants to just let this keep building, I guess. Um, so that's interesting. I could go to sell Melange now, just sell two. It gets me enough for Swordmaster this turn. I think that's probably the play. So yeah, in case you're not aware of how that works, the Signet Ring is an agent ability which only triggers once you have sent the card to a space. But in order to send a card to a space, you must first pay the cost. And it's a little weird the way this works, but the Sel Melange, the trade is actually, the, the cost of going to the space is a certain amount of spice, and then you're rewarded for it after. So in order to go, you first have to pay whatever spice it is you want to pay. And at that time, I only had two spies available. Then once I'm there, I get the Solari for the two spice, and then I get the spice for my signet ring. There's no way to get the signet ring spice first. Um, so I did get a troop from the war chest ability because I was tied for the most Solari at the end of last round. I think it was me and... The Baron. <clears throat> so it's going to be a sword master and then and then probably a seek allies if I can. As for where the Seek Allies wants to go, I mean, we'll see. Right now, the only options would be Wealth or Secrets. But there's also the potential of getting in on this conflict because nobody's in on it right now. And, uh, you know, two, two influence would be pretty nice to get so we'll just see we'll see what's what when my turn comes around the baron could go to hardy warriors or something okay puts in two so i would have to go and throw in three to be able to win. 
Leto would have to hit up Hardy Warriors to just tie that up. Um, it's a it's kind of a large investment of troops. The other thing to consider is just getting Solari to try to get the High Council seat up and running. Um, but you know what? I'm going to do this. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm going to try to get this here. I could use some influence. Playing these Seek allies would have gotten me one. Um, if I win, that gets me two, but it also cost me three troops. Versus, you know, potentially throwing in one troop in order to get a water and two Solari, it's potentially a better deal. But, ah, eh, I'm going to try it. feels bad not to use the Seek Allies. It feels bad to be only on two Solari. Let's see what happens with this firm grip. If I can get a hold of that again, obviously not this turn, that would be great. But if somebody else gets it, it may determine what I want to do here. All right, well, it's a simple liaison. Leto has five. What's he getting? Probably the Liat Kynes, right? No, the Cheney. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to take one here, and I think maybe I will take one here with the Emperor. Um, just, or, you know what? No, maybe I take it with the Guild. Because that Smuggler's Thopter could come in handy. Um, because I'm planning to go here. It's a bit weird, but these both these cards are still sitting there. What? Okay, we'll do it like that. Siege of Carthag. All right, we've got to seek allies here. First play right off the top. And what do I want to do with it? It wouldn't be a bad time to get some water, but everybody else already has some. Wouldn't be a bad time to get some wealth. And uh, work towards that. I'm going to do that. Unfortunately, I can't I can't get another Solari here in order to get a high council seat this turn. That would be ideal. Um, so it may end up being a Hall of Oratory. Or I play the liaison to a city. Throw in a troop here, back it up with the daggers. I mean, I want to get this firm grip with the way I've set things up here, right? Um, 
But if I play the liaison, I can't do that. Unless I play it to Arakeen, then maybe. It'd bump me down to two. I'd have to draw one, which is extremely likely. At least get one. Then I'd have to play Dagger to Hall of Oratory. <laughs> I'm kind of just chasing the last game, right? I mean, these two cards again are here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them, though. I'm hurting, I'm hurting for the High Council seat this turn. I could Mentat. It costs me Solari, but it might... It might give me something else to do. It feels a little bit weird. All right, how much are you gonna sell? Everything? Probably everything, right? He needs the Swordmaster and the High Council. If he sells everything, he has enough for both. No, okay. Do I want to Mentat here? I'm going to do it. It's... It's pretty weird, but I'm going to do it. Okay. I mean... The nice thing about that is it gets it into my discard pile so it's ready for when I draw the administrator, hopefully. I mean, it depends on when he gets drawn, I guess. So the Mentat itself is going to end up being wasted, unfortunately, because... I can't send this anywhere. Like, I was hoping to draw a card that I could actually use. Um, but it didn't work out that way. The trouble... I really have to hope that the administrator is in the top five cards of my deck. Because if it's in the bottom two, then when I draw it, it's gonna reshuffle my discard pile and the assassination mission will go into my deck where I will not be able to trash it. I think it's just Hall of Oratory. And um, is it Liak Kynes or is it Firm Grip? Getting the Liak Kynes gets me that alliance right now. Gets me the troops now. It makes the Firm Grip less attractive to anybody else other than to get it away from me. I have the five now, so that, you know, it's a good time to get it. Um, how many liaisons do I have? One, one at the moment. I, ooh. Yeah, there's that alliance secured. 
beast with the early alliance. Uh, if I draw a card, I'm guaranteed to at least get one persuasion back. Maybe two. If it's one, then I can get the firm grip. If it's two, then I can get the yet kinds. Is that worth doing though, or am I risking messing things up? I think I'll just reveal. And uh, I think it has to be the Liet Kynes. <laughs> Do I want to throw in reinforcements? No. <laughs> no, let's not get crazy. All right, the firm grip has been taken from me. <laughs> Private army, wow. The Baron really wants to control Carthag here. I mean, it's a point, and it's some Solari over the course of the game. It's not bad. Is it worth burning the spice? I'm not sure. The thing, though, is some of the, sometimes those combat entry cards just sit in your hand the entire game, and you never find a better time to use them, so... Okay. All right, good. I got the administrator, so I can burn it. I can burn that assassination mission, uh, but I don't have the green card to go to the High Council. Oh, man. Mm. And that's rough. I can maybe get it with a reconnaissance. It hurts. It's hard to say how great this opulence is for me at this point. I'm trying to decide if I want to send the guild administrator here first or use the reconnaissance first. It's a question of, do I think, like I'm more likely to be blocked at Arakane, I feel, than I am to be blocked at Fold Space. It's a 50-50 shot there. Um, if I am blocked at Fold Space though, it kind of hurts more because I, I might not be able to even play this administrator anywhere if that happens. Uh, but I think, I think I have to do it. Yeah, I think I have to do it. What am I going to get? Okay, I did get the Signet Ring, so that is good. Um, let me deploy... I'm going to deploy three. I wouldn't mind getting control of Arakeen here. And if somebody decides to blow a bunch of things passing me, then I wouldn't mind getting four Solari. Um...
All right. How are things looking? Right. So what I want to do is guild administrator to fold space, trash the assassination mission, get that for Solari, send the signet ring to high council seat, and then pick up an opulence, I guess. Whoa! That's a big leap. What do you use to do that? <laughs> Shifting allegiances combined with Landsrad popularity. Leto's uh, signet ring ability. Pretty huge. That's some big jumps. All right, we've got another player of this game sitting on a massive load of Solari. So the Baron is going to be racking up some troops to the garrison, probably for like three or four turns in a row, or rounds in a row. Um, but is going to want to spend that to pick up the Swordmaster in the High Council seat, but probably going to get some troops in the meantime. Which he's going to need because he has yet to trigger the Master Stroke ability. Um, I mean, there's no rush on that, but sometimes it helps to get it earlier. There's honestly a question of, like, I'm really wondering if this opulence is good for me. The thing is, I'm not really going to want to use it to send agents. I mostly just want to be able to get points out of it. But I'm, I have a lot of demands on my Solari right now. The High Council seat is going to demand Solari. Reinforcements wants Solari. And um, the other thing is, if I want to power up this Liet Kynes, then what I want are Freeman cards, not Emperor cards. So I'm not really sure what the, what the right play is there. Well, I guess the answer is I won't be able to buy the Opulence this turn anyway because I'm going to end up with five persuasion. So that answers that question for this turn, at least. We'll see what happens in future turns. Okay. Like I said, I don't really mind getting second here, although I would rather get first. All right, Opulence is gone. The Baron has snagged it. That's a beautiful card, which I also won't be able to get this turn. Um, I don't have any other Bene Gesserit cards. Yeah, firm grip, gripping it up. Let's grab that High Council seat and... Where do I want to take this? I could unlock Siege Tabber. I'm going to have... One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have five Persuasion, not... It's a little bit weird what's showing here. Chris Knife plus Liaison, or... Let me do this. Thopter is pretty interesting, I have to say. I 
No, I want to I want to open up my flexibility here. So we'll just do it. I don't even know how much I'm interested in that Chris knife because the Freeman bond ability to get um, influence with the Freeman, I mean, I'm not going to be getting that alliance. So what's the point of it? I right, maybe just pick up two liaisons here. Yeah, I think I'd rather have the liaison than the Chris knife. And uh, I want to power up that Liet Kynes, man. I mean, I think that's the play. Okay, I win the conflict. I'm happy with that. Wait a minute. We ended up tying? I'm not as happy with that. <laughs> um, but, alright. That's how it worked out. Administrator is back again. Uh, if I can i guess i'd want to play like a dune first to burn that out <sighs> okay a bunch of persuasion there's a potential for a spice must flow but it's not a great potential six solari um i don't need much with it troops could be rallied reinforcements are you know always happy to have that solari on hand I think it will be the basin if it's available. If it's not available, then I guess it will be the reconnaissance. Okay. Yeah, I think two spice sounds good. Um, I'm going to throw in one here. So the idea now is I want to play the administrator and then trash that, right? Because I had no cards in my discard pile, no cards in my play area. So if I'd played the administrator first, I either would have had to just not trash anything or trash a card from my hand. And I don't want to trash the cards out of my hand. I guess it would have been, it wouldn't have been the end of the world because I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be getting a spice must flow anyway. So, you know, no big deal. But um, I'm happy to get that two spice anyway. We're approaching round seven. I want to have six spice by the time we get there. Okay, how hard are you going for this? And at a certain point, am I going to have to start worrying about this alliance? Okay, he's going really hard for this. I don't really understand why. That seems a little bit insane. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, and then hopefully this reconnaissance can go either to Arakeen or to Siege Tabor. Uh, there's a 1 in 10 chance that Arakeen lets me get Spice Must Flow this turn. Right? If I draw the Liet Kynes... then that would do it. Otherwise, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me. And I think I'd rather get the water. I'm gonna, looks like I'm gonna get one water out of this conflict. Getting another one would be nice. Okay, so the Imperium Row is not super exciting here, other than the Smuggler's Thopter is not a bad card for me to get. Okay, that's too bad. That's what I wanted. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? So I might as... I hate drawing a card that's going to potentially drawing a card that I might want to play, but I think it's still better to do this than to just not do it. Is there any reason to use a liaison instead? I drop down to five. If I do that, I could Mentat. Is that a good use of my Solari? I don't think so. Ah, that hurts. Ah, it hurts. Uh, do I want to put in more troops here? No. So, this is one of the things I was thinking about if I did go to Mentat, being able to play whatever card I drew. But that's all right. The beast is sitting on nine Solari here. I wonder if he's just going to kind of try to hang on to that to get the, the troops every round. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to use reinforcements here. It's just not, it's not the right time. So, we reveal. Um, I do pick up the Smuggler's Thopter here. I think it's worth it for the draw two. And we see what pops up. It's a carry-all. We get another liaison. We we don't get Dr. Yue this time. And that's that. <laughs> Gurney Halleck. That would have been a nice thing for me to have access to. The voice. Who is it who picked up the... Uh, the Reverend Mother. The Baron. Okay, Baron has a couple of Bene Gesserit cards. All right, I get one water, um, which 
could be important because one of my goals for this round, round six, is to get myself two spice. All right, well, there's more spice there. There's some more spice there. Um, but yeah, the goal is to pick up some spice so that I'm ready for... Hayliner next round. However, it's not looking like I'm probably going to draw it. That's a lot of persuasion next round, though. What do I want to do with the fold space? What do I want to do with the signet ring? Okay, spends the Solari. I wouldn't mind another Intrigue card, to be honest. Or I try to move up here for the Alliance. Or I get water. Let me do this. Oh, hello. Hello there. Hello there. I don't have any... Oh, that messed up my... <laughs> that messed up my next turn. Well, I can water of life this turn and fix that. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. But that's going to be the play. Um, I'm going to want to get some troops in here. Probably it's going to be a signet ring to Haga Basin if I get the chance. Although that eats my water, which prevents me from using Water of Life. So I guess... I guess it's instead to Siege Tabor. Okay, I'm still... Pretty in the clear there. Beast currently the point leader. One alliance. I guess a lot of the points have come from conflict because He's got one point here, two points there. Has he gotten three points out of conflict so far? I don't think he's picked up a spice must flow or anything. My points have come from one, two, three, four. And did I win a conflict? I guess I did. I think it's this. Two troops. We'll do two. We'll do three. We're going to do three um, because I'm strongly considering I'm strongly considering a rally troops. And I would like to get another intrigue card. I would like to get the three spice. Well, all right. And I have the two daggers to back me up. Leto has entry cards to back him up. Yeah, Water of Life here is going to give me a crap ton of persuasion. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Because these liaisons are worth four when Liet Kynes is around. So that's going to be ten, eleven, twelve. 
Sorry, hold on. Let me let me do this again. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Which unfortunately is not enough for Gurney Halleck and Spice Must Flow. I don't like that. I think it's rally troops, yeah. I mean, I could grab even more spice, but I don't know if I need that much spice. We'll save that for the reveal. Um, it means I no longer can afford the reinforcements when that time comes, but it wasn't going to be this round anyway. And um, I think I like just having those ready. Three Solari for three troops, four Solari for four troops. Wait a minute now. I have five persuasion at this moment. Plus two, four, six, eight, ten will be 15. That actually is enough for <laughs> Gurney and the Spice Must Flow. If that, you know, if that happens, if both those, if Gurney is still there, but that is actually enough, I think. The other nice thing about drawing the three cards is it gives me a higher chance of drawing um, Hayliner access next round, right? It clears those three out of there. Um, so I have three cards that can take me there. It's a pretty good chance that I get it. And I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the first player next turn as well. So that's looking pretty good for me being able to win the round seven conflict. Whether it's something I really want to win remains to be seen. Um, but I'm pretty well set up for it. Okay, Gurney Halleck is gone, unfortunately. So that's depressing. Now, I do need to get at least second in order for... In order to have enough spice to use the... Uh, <laughs> to go to Hayliner. Do I want any of these at this point? I don't think so, and I think I'm not going to buy any liaisons either because that will reduce the chances of my drawing Hayliner. So I think... I think that's it. I really want to get at least second, but I guess that's pretty likely unless... Um, Whistler Cook here has an intrigue card to go past me. 
because he's already revealed so the combat strength is four unless it gets modified by an entry card Leto can pass me um he still has an agent left so theoretically that shouldn't be too hard if he has he'd have to hit up Carthag I guess or Hardy Warriors to do it or just reveal some swords or play an entry card it shouldn't be too hard for Leto to win but as long as I get second I'm okay I'd rather win obviously but the important thing is that I'm sitting on six spice okay Great flat. Well, that doesn't let him put in troops. So he's going to need to have daggers and or intrigue to do it. <laughs> 17 cards. One, two, three. Three in 17 chance of being able to hit Hayliner. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know what the math is there. <laughs> okay, he does have the dagger, so... Okay, if we tie, that's fine with me. He has three intrigues, though. It would kind of make sense if you have, like, a weak little combat one to play it now, because you could then replace it with another intrigue and get more spice. So, uh, we'll see if he has that. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, he does. <laughs> All right, that's a great play. Now, I want to see here if the game is still bugged when it comes to intrigues. It seems to be sometimes. Okay, Leto played an intrigue card there. Bendit did not. If Whistlecluck does not and I do not, Leto should have another chance to play one. If this instantly resolves, then they still have this messed up. Okay, so it's still messed up. That's not how this is supposed to work. Everyone is, is If everyone passes consecutively, that's when it stops. The problem is the game thinks that when you're done playing Intrigue cards, you pass. That's not how it works. If you read the rules, when it's your turn to play Intrigues, you have two choices. One, play any number of Intrigue cards or pass. It's not both. All right, so do I get a Hayliner access card or not? That's going to be a big deal, and I do. Oh, thank God. Uh, I guess it's fold space. I don't have a good card to trash there, unless I keep that for... Just forget about the trash part. Use that to go anywhere else on the board. That probably makes more sense. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost really blew that. Maybe trash himself at this point. Yeah. He can go now. He's done his job. Um, so the next play is going to be fold space to somewhere. Maybe I go up here to protect that, or I get my point here. I mean, the dream would be to win this conflict and get a spice must flow. Um, 
Going here would have the double purpose of protecting my alliance and getting me the Solari I need to play reinforcements if necessary. Two people nipping at my heels there. Thing is, if I go to secrets, that gets me a point. I'm sitting at seven. If I win this, I'm sitting at nine. If I can somehow, depending on what I draw, if I draw the right card, I could potentially get enough for the spice must flow and hit 10 this round. I think I should try for it and risk losing this. It's bad. It would be bad to lose this. Um, and it could happen, right? Because Leto, for example, has shifting allegiances, so there's a way for him to jump up too. Um, he also has his signet ring, so there's. it wouldn't be that hard for Leto to steal that from me. And he could do it. Okay, here's the master stroke. Let's see. No? Why did I think he mastered? Was it his signet ring? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm still a little bit torn whether I go for try to just win outright this turn and risk risk that alliance. It's not the worst thing in the world if Leto has it. I don't want the beast to get it. But I'd rather hang on to it myself. We'll see what the beast does. Right now I'm leaning towards secrets. The intrigue card could be big. It's a guaranteed point versus maybe losing a point. And it gives me more, because the intrigue card could also help me get spice must flow. It, oh, well, <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so what does that mean then? I mean, I could go to research station. That'll help me get a spice must flow. Okay, so I'm going to do this to protect the Alliance now. Or do I get Spice and then go... I could get Spice and then go to Selective Breeding, which could theoretically... kind of do the same thing. All right, let me try that. I don't know about this play. I just kind of thought of it. I haven't thought it through too much. I'm going all in on this. So the idea now is I go to selective breeding draw three cards and I can actually trash the fold space to the selective breeding and still get the card out of it. Uh, that gets me the Bene Gesserit point and with those three cards hopefully it gets me Spice Must Flow. It might not. I would have to draw I mean I just have to draw three influence in three cards. So, 
there's a pretty good chance of that. There's only two, there's three cards in the deck that don't give me influence, and there's a bunch that give me two. All right, here he goes. Is he stealing the alliance? It looks like he's stealing the alliance. Yeah, he's stealing the alliance. Okay, well, I think it was still worth a shot. Lido has a lot of troops here. If he has that thing that gets to throw them all in, he could potentially take this from me, which I'd be much more disappointed in that than I would in losing that alliance, but we'll see how this goes. You know, you take your chances, right? Going here would have been a more uh, conservative play. And then I could have sent the signet ring to research station. You know, I'm happy with the decision. Let's see how happy I end up, though. Okay, so I have to draw the card off of the fold space first. Okay, that's a good start. Take the point. Now trash the fold space. And draw two, and it's a bingo. So it's going to leave me a point short of 10. It's going to be a little bit hard for me to hit 9 next turn, though. Persuasion, I mean. And I've burned everything to win this, so I really better win it. I didn't hold anything back because I just felt like, you know what? Uh, I don't want to risk it. I was also hoping that the round would end this turn with my victory. Um, okay, High Council. The good news with that High Council is it means that Leto would have to have uh, a few pretty big intrigue cards in order to steal this from me like he would need whatever the thing is that lets you throw in all the troops from your garrison um, but that still wouldn't do it so he'd need also to have swords and another one I mean if he has the main one it's not that much further to you know to get the others but I do have this one little dagger <laughs> this one little dagger that might might keep me up there we'll see I'm, I'm scared, though. This giant garrison really makes me nervous. With three entry cards, I don't like it. I don't like it. I am one away from this alliance here. So there's another potential point for me, too. Can I get there next turn? Maybe with a diplomacy?
The issue with not winning outright this turn is even if I can get my next point next round, if, even if I can get to 10 next round, um, someone else might get there too, right? Someone else could win a two-point alliance. I'm not in a position to win another one. Uh, two-point conflict, a two-point alliance. Um, so it's it's precarious. I mean, maybe the reinforcements could help me win another one, but like I, I threw everything in there because I just was nervous. I mean, you never know, right? Sometimes it's in retrospect, it looks like a big overcommitment. I could have held like potentially three of those back for the next turn, but who knows if I had done that, maybe these entry cards would have come out and I would have lost. So you never know. Grand Vision could potentially get me my thing back, but that's actually kind of nice for me. Okay, there's the Diplomacy, so that gets me that point. Uh, I don't have a, a way of getting Spice Must Flow, I don't think. Because I don't have... I'm short of water for a uh, research station. That's not happening. Yeah, I don't have the cards. Uh, but this is kind of good news for me because the thing is, it means nobody else is winning two points off this conflict, right? Somebody gets a two-point bump somewhere. What does that do? It's one point here for red. It's one point here for red. Okay. Okay. And red is my main competition right now. So that's like one point, which is a lot nicer for me than two. For blue, it's a, well, it's a point. If I don't take that, it's a point here. So yeah, I'm kind of happy that that's the conflict that popped up. So what I want to do here is go to fold space just to get that alliance. It also gives me Solari, which unlocks the reinforcements, which is kind of nice. It's probably not going to be relevant, but it's not bad. I would love to get that spice must flow, but I don't know how I can do it, really. I mean, I guess... Wait a minute, what's happening? Test of humanity, discard a card. Uh, I probably lose the dagger. Yeah. The problem will be if fold space gets blocked on me. Because that's my only way of getting a point this turn, really. Especially because I lost the dagger, right? The dagger actually could have taken me to nine. I got rid of it because once I play the diplomacy, it can't. But in a way... In a way that would have been safer, actually to just early reveal for just, you know, keep the dagger, go here. I mean, there's risk to that too, right? Someone could still block me there as much as someone could block me here, so. Does red want, red doesn't want this, I don't think. The motive to go here would just be to block me from getting that point, which might not be the worst. Where does he want to go? Hayliner, okay. <laughs> All right. This has to be the play.
And then, um, you know, reconnaissance, if I can, it's either going to be Arakeen or Carthag. But nothing really... I, eh. Theoretically, Arakeen could matter. Could it? Honestly, I don't really have a lot of persuasion in my deck. The Leah Kynes is just two here. Because I'm missing all of my Freeman cards. So... Going to Arakeen with the Reconnaissance, that's minus one, so that puts me to six. If I draw Leokines, that bumps me up to eight, not nine. So if I draw the Smuggler's Thopter, and then I play it and draw two, if I draw then the Dune and Leokines, that is nine. So that's a theoretical possibility. Okay. It's a theoretical possibility. On the other hand, I might just draw a Dune or I might just draw a Spice Must Flow. I'd have to draw the Thopter for that to have any chance of success. One in four. Or I just go for an Intrigue card and uh, see what that does for me could be more valuable. Let's go for the one and four. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> I'll throw in one troop. The reinforcements isn't really going to do anything here. Um, I want to get whatever spice I can in case there's a tiebreaker situation. Okay, so let's say... The beast wins this. Where does where does that matter? Not here. Okay, that would get him an alliance here. Uh, here is not enough to take it from me. This would take it from blue, so it's worth a point. If he can buy a spice, must flow, which looks pretty unlikely. He could maybe get to ten, but I would beat him on the spice. All right, so I am going to have to play the reinforcements at some point just to be able to get third. Um, just in case it comes to a tiebreaker somehow. Nobody's in position to cash in the... Uh, I forget the name of the Intrigue card that's worth points at the end of the game if you have influence on three tracks. If you have at least three influence on three tracks. Um, nobody, I think, satisfies that. The other one is if you have more Spice Must Flow. Okay, he's really going for it. I might as well get another Spice... I guess. Wait, do I control that? <laughs> I don't think I really realized that. How long have I controlled that? It must be the one I just won. Um, well, I might as well get some more spice for a potential tiebreaker, I guess.
And I'll wait for my reveal to use the reinforcements. I hope what's happening right now is they're fighting over second place. One intrigue card here, two intrigue cards here. Did the Baron ever trigger the Master Stroke? I don't know that he did. Okay, Baron trying to see if he can sneak up out of fourth place here, I guess. Deploy any number of troops? Okay. <laughs> uh, oh no. So that's going to be hard for me to actually get that spice. Chome shares. Ooh, I don't like that. This, it might come down to the Spice Tiebreaker here. That's going to be an entry card as well. Uh, the second Tiebreaker is Solari, but I think I'm all right there. So... I mean, there's no reason not to do this. I'll just do it. Wait, I have to wait till I reveal. Unfortunately, no flowing spice. So we just pass on all that. Oh man, it, it might come down to this spice tiebreaker. Okay, Baron gets a point out of the opulence, up to six. He's got the tiebreaker on Matt Matt right now. Um, I think it's, I think I've got it on the tiebreaker here with Whistlecook. But it, it's gonna depend on the entry card he gets here. I'm assuming he's going to take that. Right? Taking this doesn't really do anything. It's the same point. Taking the point away from Leto is not that great. You want to get this entry card and hope that it gives you a tiebreaker, right? Um, maybe Leto can win this, which I think would be ideal for me. Looks like no... So again, if we all pass, Leto should have another chance to play the entry card, but it's not actually going to work. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad Whistlecook doesn't have that. All right. That's a good play. <laughs> and still ties it back up with me. So Lido gets another chance because Bendit played something. In the logic of the video game, he should have had one anyway. I really hope that gets fixed. All right, I really hope that entry card was not some kind of end game thing. Because... Oh, he got an entry card here, and he's going to get one here. Uh... It could be... It could be a lot of things that could mess me up. If it's like when you win a conflict, get some spice. Okay, corner of the market is Lido. Woo! That spice tiebreaker ended up being the key. Holy man. Oh, 
Oh man, that was very, very tight. All right, Memnot, Memnon here is working out for me. That's two wins in a row from Memnon. Hey, remember in the last game, I saw those visions of victory, bludgeon, Memnon Torvald. And I thought that that prophecy had already been fulfilled, but sometimes you see bits and pieces of the future. You don't understand what you're seeing until later. I was maybe seeing bits of that one, bits of this one. Who knows? Maybe bits of a future one. Well, that's game four in the books now. That's three first places in a row. I got third place with the first one. And then three firsts. Um, so that's feeling pretty good. Uh, two games to go. This is a long day here um, due to the way my, uh, my weekend is. This is going to be uh, six games in one day is how this is for me. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to game four. This has been a good time. Stay tuned for game number five. Follow, like, comment, subscribe, all the things. Twitch.tv slash bludgeon. All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.